Dora, why are you here? On the same day we got married, he left, and he went to his ex. Why did he do that? Well, he did not tell me anything, no excuse, no anything, not even say the reason why he left. You got married in February, right? Yes. But he had just gotten out of jail in January. Right, the second. And how long was he? January 2nd? Yes. How long was he in jail for? Six and a half years. Six and a half years? Yes. Where did you meet him at? It's in the neighborhood that we grew up in, and I know him from the 80s, and we got together in 2005. I say about four or five months. We got into a relationship. He went and got jail, went in jail. After he went in jail, I told him that I stood by his side. After four months, you told the guy, hey, I'm going to wait for you. I'll wait for you, because I know him from the 80s for a long time. So now, what's going on these next six and a half years? I'm visiting him. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I mean, every weekend, every weekend I'm there. Sometimes I don't even go home that Friday. I'm still there, staying in my car. Oh, you stay in your car? I stayed in my you car. You sleep in your car? Yes. So you don't have to make the commute back and forth? Right, I was going like 45 minutes drive. And this goes on the whole six and a half whole years? Whole six and a half years. And he's saying what to you while you're coming to visit him? Um, he loved me, he cared for me, we're going to be together. Um, we're going to stay in a relationship. You must have been exchanging letters, right? Yes, we were writing each other, sending cards. Were you giving him money? Much. Yes, conversating. So you were I giving him money so he could buy things in jail. Right. How much money were you typically sending oh, him? A lot. I say 30, 40, 50. I mean, this is like every two weeks that I get paid, I'll make sure he get his allowance. I make sure the phone be on so he can make a phone call. I send him stamps. The whole six and a half years, clothes. so he can write me the clothes that when he receives to come out January the second, I send him his clothes. You bought the clothes that he wore once so he, he come a free out. man. What was it that made you so head over heels that you know you were committed to a guy that there was no conjugal visits, right? Yes. Oh, there was. Yes, it was. Oh well, then I can understand. Yeah. <laughs> I guess jail's not that bad after all. <laughs> um, but, but so you must have been happy as the years are going by. He's getting closer to getting out. Right. And he's still professing his love for you. Right. You're professing your love to him. Right. And as the day comes, January 2nd, he walks out of there. And what do you guys do? You're free. He's a free man. What do you do? He said he want to get in contact with his kids. So I made a way to make a phone call to get the kids to the house so it can surprise him when he come home. I called Bridget and I and gave who's her- who's Bridget? Bridget is the girlfriend. Oh, he, who he has the kids with? Right. Okay, so you called her up. Right. You said, hey, your ex is getting out of jail. He'd like to see his kids. Right. Now, was she visiting him in prison too? Not I know of, because I was there faithfully. Friday, and you never Saturday, saw her? Sunday. I never what, seen her did, did you know she was writing him in jail? I don't even know that. Sending him money? No, because all the receipts, it came into my name. Okay. And I even print that out. So she really me. wasn't doing anything for me? No. Jail. It was all you? Yeah. What if he comes out and says, I'm done with Bridget, I want to be with you? No. no. I don't want So him. you just want answers today? Yeah. This well, happens. you deserve them. Let's bring out Hardy. This is, this is highly unusual in the fact that um, she says that she knew you a long time ago in the 80s, um, that you were friends or whatever the case may be back then. But then just before you went to uh, jail or prison or wherever you went, um, that you got into a relationship with her for four or five months. Correct. And it was good? It was all right. It was all right. <laughs> OK. If it was all right, um, but she did come to see you almost every weekend, right, in jail? Yes. Obviously, she cared about you, right? Right. Nobody's coming to visit you in jail if they don't care about you. Right. And she's making regular visits to you, right? Right. OK. She's giving you money? Correct. Lots of money, right? Some? Yes, a lot. No, she brought a record here. And she brought a record of all the times, and it's noted from the prison officials every time she gave you money. And, and mother only saying one time. 
Okay. Out of the six and a half years. This is a woman that, you know, you just started dating right before you went to prison. She's given you quite a bit of money, right? Correct. Okay. And it says, this is your writing. You is the only woman that write me and send me money. I've been loving you too long, and I will not stop loving you, right? You? You're writing her this. You know what? I'm going to ask you to leave the stage just for a minute. Sit back to relax. I'm going to bring you out in a minute. Have, have a seat, man. I see, I got to admit, I have a fascination with guys that spend time in jail, because I always like to hear about it. Um, it can't be easy in there, right? Right, correct. So the, the day the judge goes, hey, I'm giving you six and a half years, what goes through your head? I'm doomed. You're doomed, right? right. And you're like, how the hell am I going li to live the next six and a half years, right? Yeah. OK. So now here you have a woman that makes it easier, right? Correct. OK. She's coming. She's giving you the money. She's, you know, some attention on you. It seems like you have some animosity towards this woman. I Why? Do. Why? She heard me, Steve. She heard me the whole the time I was down. Okay. <laughs> Regardless of the money situation, the letter situation, because she all was that. seeing all the guys when you were in jail. She was seeing all the guys. I can understand like five yeah, years. Why not? Five though? and a half years. Even if she's out seeing guys, I mean, come on. You gotta have, you give her. You're not married to the woman. She's coming to see you. So what? She's seen some guys. She's a free woman. But she sit there and tell me that she's faithful, that she's dedicated, that she ain't seen nobody. But at the same time, as soon as she leaves, she in a bed with somebody else. Well, she, how do you know that? She tells me. Exactly. After she did it. After she did it, she confesses it. OK. <laughs> but once you got out, <laughs> once you got out, she's being good to you, right? She was, but I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it, Steve. Okay. I was trying to Here's get the million dollar question then. Why'd you marry her then? While I married her? Why did you marry her At then? one time. I was confused at the time, to be honest with you. <laughs> I was, that day we got married, Steve, I was drinking. She just, we was riding around, and then next thing I know, you we wind nice up. You were nice and sober in the picture where you're getting married. No, I was drinking. <laughs> I don't, I don't get, I don't get, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get, uh, out of my mind. You okay. feel me? I was tipsy. Yeah, no, you got out of your mind because not only did you marry a girl one day, you left her the same day. Exactly. Why? Because I wanted to be with my baby mama. It was just, I could never get over well, what she had done, Steve. Why didn't you marry your baby's mom? I was in, Steve. So when you in, you already know you need somebody to hold on to. Oh, I can believe she that. She was that somebody. Okay, now that's a good question. Did you use her? Yeah. Now listen. And You know what? Everything no, I didn't you, use her. You didn't use her? Not at that time, no. <laughs> what, what time did you use her? After I got out. After you got out. <laughs> no, it's fair. It's fair. After you, after you got out, you used her. How'd you use her after you got out? Well, you know, um, I was just there. Hands out. Right. She was taking care of you, buying you know, Yeah, you know, it was like, you know. Place to stay, yeah. sex. Yeah. Do you feel bad that you did this to somebody and the one person that was trying to help you out? <laughs> I, and, and I say, I get that. Like, when you were in jail, you're going to probably use whoever's willing to be used because it's so hard to get through. But once you're out, why not just go with Bridget or, you know, Anybody you want to be with? Well, when I was out, you know, me and her talked that one time because um, I was like, let's have an open relationship. You see who you want to see, I see who we want. Who Bridget I want or to Dora? See. No, Dora. I told oh, Dora. Oh, you told that. Dora that. So you know, then at the at the end of the day, you know, we stay in the same bed. You know, we'll be home together. So she was like, no. But then she was seeing somebody since I've been home. But why did you get married then? Why did I get married? Yes. I felt obligated, Steve, because the whole five and a half years that I was in, she like. She, she stuck with me. So that day, like I said, I was a little tipsy, and I felt obligated because of the things that she had done for but, me. But couldn't you have stayed at least your wedding night for her? My wedding night? Well, I, went for, I thought we were going on a honeymoon, but we went to the damn liquor store. That's my, that was my honeymoon. <laughs> Since your wedding day, she hasn't had a chance to talk to you. She hasn't had answered any of this. And I know, like you're saying, I just don't know where you'd have to be mean to her. And I hope when she comes out, you're not mean to her. I would talk to her. She wants answers. Give her the answers. I'm not saying you got to be with her or 
you, you need to, oh, you're married to her, you got to stay with her. No, you've been in prison for six and a half years, and now's your time to live your life and have fun or whatever, do whatever you want. So be it, man, do it. But there's no sense of being mean to this woman, okay? Let's bring her back out. We went where? After we got married? I said, I we went to the liquor to the store. Trip, a trip to the liquor store. You went to the liquor we, store. We, you and we. my son went to the liquor you store lie. and came back. You don't lie. Yes, Man, you, you went to the liquor store, right? What the f you lying to me for? Don't swear, don't swear, don't swear. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help. First of all, Dory, he was never... Mm. He was never Whatever. yours, he was always mine. And let me tell you about when you talk about you got men, his kids together, you didn't get us together. Yes, I did. I called I got with I your you didn't on get Facebook. a contact with me. But you said you, you didn't, talked to you me. Didn't you didn't want to come you in said you talked to me. me. I don't want to get involved. I never said that to you. I said you don't call my damn phone. I don't want to need it. I said you don't call my damn phone. That's what I said. No, you didn't. Make her quiet. No, you didn't. That's a lie. Bridget, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you, Steve? I'm doing good. Sorry. Yeah, you could, I just don't want you to slip and fall. Okay. What I don't, I'm, I guess what I'm, I'm missing the big picture of the story, okay? Uh -huh. You're with him now? Yeah. Why did he marry her if he was just gonna leave her? Right. Well, why did she marry him? She already But she's that. thinking, you know why? It because, takes two to get married. Because yeah, she's it thinking, two. It she thinks two and that two he's gonna be with her. But why would she think that when she already suspected me and him is okay. messing around? Okay. okay. I mean, why would she even think that he's gonna be with her when she already suspected and me and I, him is together? All I'm saying is, does it bother you that he married her? Does it bother you at all? I mean, you're you're together with him now, but he's married to her. You know what, Steve? As it it doesn't, and I'm gonna tell you why it doesn't. Because when they did get married, before she even sent in the marriage license, he was with me. So she put her own stuff in this position because if she would have never sent in the marriage license, it would have expired but and it would have been what? done. But here's the thing: I don't know if that was exactly all spelled out to her. Um, you want to be with Hardy though, right? And now you're trying to make it work, right? And you, and you think you guys got a chance with the two kids and everything? Yeah, yes. Good. Okay, and you and you love her? Yeah. You want to be with her? Yeah. Okay. Stop coming to my house looking for him. Oh, well, why you not? You to my house. You brought the police. You brought the police. You brought the police. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Man, hold on. Hold on. You're in a good place there for one second. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want to say to her without the yelling and screaming? You're with her. You're with Bridget now. What do you want to say to her now that you're married to her? What do you want? I want a divorce. I want my name clean, my, my name clear where I can marry my baby mama Bridget. So as soon as Pay you for it. As soon as you get divorced from Pay for it. Pay for it. I got that. Pay for it. I got that. You pay for the license and everything. And pay for the rings too. I got that. Wait a minute. No. As soon as you're saying, as soon as you divorce her. You want to marry her? Yeah, I'm. I'm and Bridget, marry. will you? Are you gonna marry him yeah. when he's divorced? He gonna dog her out right. too. So listen. He gonna Good dog luck you with out you. Too. Listen. And you know it ain't it. Hold yet, on, hold baby. on, Mike. Whatever past mistakes you made, I'm I'm glad mm -hmm. you straightened up. I hope you stay out of trouble. I hope you're around to raise your two uh, teenage children, and I hope you treat Bridget well. Good luck to you. Right. I, I, you know what? I feel bad because it's a mistake. Like I normally tell young girls on my stage, whatever. Ah, don't worry, move on. I don't know if that's a, a, a feeling, an emotion that you're going to get over quickly. Um, and I think there's always going to be some really ill will towards the situation. And I would suggest, suggest the next guy you get involved with that you don't have to make weekend visits to, okay? <laughs> Good luck. Bro.